Hello, I'm Marcus and I love London. The top 10 films aren't the most. I just wanted to mention Furious 7, which is on 1.5 billion. Family! 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 <laughs> um, I, I don't like them anymore. I think it were a podcast that was saying it like in the first one, Ludacris owned a mechanic shop. By the sixth one, he's fucking hacking into fucking Pentagon. Anyway, that was the one where I feel like they promoted Paul Walker's death a bit. R.I.P. Paul. Respectfully, of course, but I believe that really pushed the film as it was his last one. Number 10 coming in. Classic, this one. A modern classic. The first Avengers grossing $1.52 billion. Wow. Came out in 2012 and obviously um, the culmination of what? Did they do 10 before? Six, maybe? Yeah, so it was a culmination of all the hard work they've done, the end of the phase sort of thing, and it was brilliant, never been done before. Now it's tired. Number nine. Surprising, but I'm glad it's up here. The Lion King. 1.67 billion. I mean, it's beautifully done. Uh, and I can see the appeal, The Lion King. This is why there's no original anymore, because it rakes in so much money. Another sequel, eight. Jurassic World. I mean, yeah, fine. It's fine. It's Chris Pratt running away from dinosaurs and Bryce Dallas Bryce Howard. So it's a little bit aw. at number seven. Spider Man No Way Home. I loved it. Uh, one point nine billion. Number six. Avatar: The Way of Water. Grossing over two billion. Two billion. It's not. It's still in cinemas. This. It deserves to be there. I'd say. In at number five, we have Avengers: Infinity War. Makes sense again. When they were good, when they were still good at building the characters and developing the stories. In at number four, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Two billion. Over two billion. There's not much in it between Infinity War and The Force Awakens. It makes sense. Obviously, Star Wars went away for a long time and everyone were excited to see. Um, it was fine. I mean, don't get me started on them. That's a whole video on its own. How Disney destroyed Star Wars. Number three, Titanic. 2.1 billion. Fucking hell, still. 97 this released. James Cameron strikes again. And the second highest grossing film of all time, as it stands in 2023, is Avengers Endgame. 2.7 billion. Amazing film. Probably the last good Marvel film, apart from No Way Home. That's what I'll say. Bit shit, the rest at the minute. I'm not going to sit there for a six-part Disney Plus series to, to know what's going on. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, the too many characters. It's just gone berserk. And the number one ranking film of all time is, of course, Avatar 1. 2.9 billion. Now, I would hazard a guess to say that it's the re-releases that they've had. I think they've probably had two or three. I think they had an anniversary one, one recently in aid of the second one. But yeah, if you look at this top ten, the only original franchise is Avatar and Titanic. All James Cameron. Because what you've got is you've got the Avengers in there, Spider-Man, Star Wars, um, Jurassic World. They're all rehashed existing IPs. Lion King, again, rehashing an old IP. But, you you know, you wonder why there's no original films. I mean, it's all anyone's going to see. Sorry, it's a break it to you. It's your fault, the consumer. <laughs>